Hey everyone, NC Prepper and Kim with us today. We bought some extra garlic at Aldi and we thought we would ferment some of it and we thought we'd make a video and show everybody how to do it. So if you're interested in that, stick with us and see how to do this. Okay, so we first we washed everything. James had me wash everything and then... Uh, so we're gonna make uh, we've got our um, jar here being sterilized with the lid, the weight, and our uh, ferment lid that we'll use for fermenting. It runs for 10 minutes in here. Um, in the meantime, we're going to make four cups of water and four tablespoons of salt mixture. Pickling salt. We're using pickling salt because it's just salt. Um, kosher salt has a like an anti-caking agent on it that's really not good for fermenting. So you're just gonna to wanna to use pickling salt mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna make up our brine and then we'll come back when we our jar is finished sterilizing and we'll pack the jar with all our garlic. So we got our Aldi haul and today's, we had picked up a couple bags of garlic. Um, we just used this bagged garlic like this that's already been um, peeled and everything. Um, two years ago we bought a very like a three pound bag from Costco and fermented it up and we're still using it although we're at the end of that run where we thought well we'll just make a couple of small jars that would get us a little bit more garlic going and we'd be able to get a, a three pound bag later. So what we've done is we've taken two of these bags and I've put them into these pint jars. We've, uh, we uh, sterilized everything and I've made a brine solution of four cups of water and four tablespoons of pickling salt. Um, and I'm just going to fill these jars up. But first I use these glass weights um, and it, then it will keep everything uh, below the water level so it will keep mold and things like that out of your ferment your fermentation so we'll basically just pour this in and fill this all the way to the top um, I usually go pretty much all the way um, we'll do that on both enough water for both and then what I use are these uh, fermolids is what they're called and it's just got this little part here and it's uh, very lightly cut to allow the gases and everything to come out uh, while they're fermenting and they'll both go on like that and then you just use your regular canning rings so using these you don't have to you don't have to do you don't have to release the gases you don't have to do anything with the lid uh, the rings you can just leave them like this and these will go for about three weeks um, and be they'll kind of change colors as it's fermenting and then you'll start to smell it it will become very very fragrant it'll become very house. obvious that you're fermenting garlic <laughs> exactly so put them somewhere that uh, Either if you like the smell or if it's, if it's too much, you might put it in your garage. It needs to be somewhere cool though, it, it, like room temperature or maybe even a little bit cooler. Um, and then it, they'll, as I say, they'll just change colors. Um, I might actually top this off a little bit more, but um, you really want it to be, you just don't want that much air in there. And you can actually make it run over a little bit but the uh, flavor even especially when you use this raw after it's fermented we just store ours after we ferment it in the refrigerator and just pull it out anytime we need garlic and we use it to cook but also use it i use it in a chickpea salad um, or in a macaroni salad you can use it uh, fresh just like it is and it gives things a great flavor the fermented garlic is a completely different flavor than well, even in the refrigerator itself, it even though it's cool in the refrigerator, 
it all it does is really slow down the fermenting process it doesn't actually kill it or stop it 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 will still continue to ferment even while even after the three weeks is up what we'll do is we'll take these off and we'll leave them in these jars but we'll use these plastic lids um once we're they're done fermenting we'll swap out the caps and switch to this and then we'll just keep these in the back of the refrigerator and whenever we need garlic we're able to just spoon out however much we want um, and it just they taste amazing and as i said the last at the beginning of the video is we had a three pound bag and it lasted us two years uh, yeah and so these were two six ounce bags we got at aldi this morning i mean you could i guess peel and do all the garlic yourself but buying those bags is just, just the way to go like this, yeah and then just so then what what i'll typically do is i'll set these on a tray um, because they will, as this, the garlic starts to ferment some, the salt in the water will pull out the moisture that's in each one of the cloves. And these jars will start to overflow during the first, like about a week in, week and a half in, they'll start to overflow. So put it in a tray of some kind to catch that liquid. And just, if it gets real bad, just wipe it out and put them back you don't do anything with that liquid it's just the liquid from the uh, garlic being pulled out by the salt in the water and and then you're going to have yourself some delicious garlic cloves that will last you for as really as long as you've got them in the refrigerator we just keep eating ours so um hope you enjoy it let us know in the comments if you actually do it yourself